everybody, it's Madge from Madge's Hat Box. Um, I don't know if you caught my live yesterday. It was a little bit of a disaster since I was trying to film on two platforms at the same time based on an incorrect link. So it's not wasn't Academy Award winning material, but you did get to see some fun stuff. I thought I'd circle back around today to show you some of the jewelry that I have on special through the end of the day. Uh, sale is 30% off. Everything I featured in yesterday's Indie Craft Experience online shopping event from 2 to 5. That's what I streamed live. And it's jewelry, hats, handbags, and clothes. Everything's 30% off through midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. And I've got some really fun jewelry to show you right now. Let's start with the earrings. On the top, I have a, a collection of 1950s beaded earrings. Lots of details are all about the size of a quarter. They're all clips. This first pair is a crystal plastic crystal cluster earring. The beads have an AB coating, which means Aurora Borealis, which gives them a special prismatic sparkle. The next pair I truly love, two tones of aqua blue with one large bead covered in silk thread on each. The detail on these is just stunning. If you like green, I love these. It's a combination of dark green and light green. Some of the beads are shaped into a triangle. The others are kind of a Baroque pearl style with a center round bead. These are blush pink cluster beads and boy are they pretty and they'd be great for a wedding. Two tones of blush with those AB plastic crystal beads as well. Below I have a wonderful set of green thermostat plastic earrings in a moon glow style. This means that the plastic, the way the plastic was colored, it almost looks like they have a glow to them, just like a full moon. This is a pretty lime green pair with glass bead spacers and the green plastic is kind of in a basket weave style. This pair is also really pretty for a wedding. I guess you would call them ribbons, open ribbons or ladders with beautiful faux pearls. This set is by Kramer, which was a very well-known jewelry company known for high quality. I have a blog post about Kramer on my website uh, you might want to check out. White and gold is one of my favorite color combinations for summer. These are brush stroke cross hatch earrings, uh, probably from the 60s or 70s. Um, they also could be called hashtag earrings if you are an Instagrammer. These silver leaf earrings are silver metal by Coro from the 1950s. I love leaf jewelry as well. We have a pin coming up in a leaf design to show you. And then I have a pair of Hobe, H-O-B-E, which was also a very high quality costume jewelry company back in the day and one of my personal favorites. These are glass bead earrings on a silver setting. It's called milk glass for obvious reasons. All of these earrings are clips and the round ones are all about the size of a quarter. I have one pair of screw back earrings in another moon glow, this time in blue, kind of a cornflower blue with a silver metal rhodium back. They're called screw clips because instead of a, they're called screw backs, excuse me, because instead of a clip, there's a screw that screws towards your ear to make them completely adjustable. Some women love them, some women hate them. So there you go. Stock necklaces. I have these wonderful 1960s necklaces. Two different styles, but I think they look great together. The red one is a wonderful chunky necklace in red plastic squares or rectangles of different sizes with white spacer beads that really make the red beads pop. Underneath is a slightly more elegant white bead necklace with silver ring spacers. What I love about this is there's lovely translucent white flowers between the round beads. And although they're different styles, well, they look great together. If you love long necklaces like I do, I have two that are really special. I have this gold chain necklace with a humongous tassel in gold with white cylinder fringe and clear beads at the bottom. 
Here's that AB coating again on the rhinestones, this time made to look like opals. I just think it's a stunning piece, totally 70s. It would look great with this maxi dress that I also have on special today uh, for the sale. It's also on the site. The other long necklace is a white metal triangle, rounded triangle with a geographic graphic pattern inside kind of reminds me of breeze blocks, if you know what those are, with white metal fringe, and it's an extra long necklace. All the lengths are in the listing, so you can check there for the exact lengths on all of these. This one is a late 40s or 1950s glass bead necklace in black and red. The beads are faceted, so they have a lot of shine to them. Uh, it's a very high quality necklace. As I mentioned, I love white and gold. This is a multi-strand choker, probably from the 70s or early 80s. It has long pyramid beads in white plastic with gold metal spacers. The gold metal spacers really help the white beads pop. It also has a really pretty decoration at the end of, end of the strands on each side that connects to the chain clasp. This is a really pretty Galleaf necklace, which is a type of plastic from Germany. It is an interesting color of kind of between salmon and orange. As you can see, there are some hand carved beads, so it gives it kind of an Asian flair uh, in amongst the other beads in, that are so dimensional with the cylinders and triangles. It has an interesting closure on it, it's a screw close. So um, that's a fun way to close a necklace and something different. Finally, in necklaces, I have this wonderful atomic style necklace, probably from the 1950s or early 60s. I love the interlocking circles in green and white with the green tube and white spacer beads that are really, really pretty. This is another slightly longer necklace, so you can check out on the listing the exact length. While we're talking atomic, let's look at brooches. I have this beautiful cylindrical or pinwheel brushed silver brooch with silver dangling fringe, as you can see. It's also kind of an atomic style from the 1950s. I mentioned I love leaf jewelry. Well, here's another piece, this time from Emmons. This piece is from the 1980s, and it's brushed gold metal. The interesting thing about it is the rhinestones in light green, amber, and purple are an open work setting, so it's really, really kind of pretty. Emmons was a very high quality jewelry company that did home parties. They had a secondary line called Sarah Coventry, and if you are if a, you are a Venice jewelry fan, you're probably familiar with that name. Here's another famous name, it's Lorenza. It's a gold metal turtle, again open work so you can see through it, with two green rhinestone eyes. Uh, what I love about this one is it has translucent enamel in green and orange. I've seen this exact piece in more opaque enamel and it's just not as pretty as this one is. And uh, these two are my favorite color combinations for summer. If you're more of a flower power girl, I have this beautiful oversized enamel daisy, probably from the early 70s or 69. It's not marked, unfortunately. It has um, cream enamel petals and stamen plus a bright green stem with leaves. It's a little bit of enamel loss, but not much to notice. Finally, I have this spectacular Givenchy melon, honeydew melon brooch. As you can see, it's very dimensional. Gold plated with green lucite, and it has crystal seeds in the middle. It's just a spectacular piece. And finally, we have some bracelets on sale. On the end here, I have a really neat expandable bracelet in black, faceted plastic, different shapes, teardrop, rectangles, and ovals, and it's expandable, so it fits really easily. The next one is a really cool gold metal bracelet. I would love it for a wedding. It has a rhinestone horseshoe and a large single pearl, and it has a unique way to open. Next to it is a pair of enamel bracelets in purple and burgundy with gold metal decoration. 
with one bracelet having rhinestones, three sections of rhinestones as you go around the bracelet. This pair is by Joan Rivers, and if you're a collector of hers, this is just a wonderful set. Next to it on the other side, I like to call this my French Poodle bracelet because it looks like one of those French Poodle collars from the 1950s. Gold mesh metal with yellow rhinestones, which is kind of unique and really great for summer. Another unique piece in the middle is a brass bracelet, book chain style links, and the moon glow plastic is meant to mimic river pearls and naturally occurring river pearls, which are called dog tooth pearls, which is kind of a clever name for these. Again, it's Moon Glow Thermoset Plastic. Really has a nice glow to it, and the white really sets off the brass. Very unique piece. Another unique piece is this sterling silver and carnelian bracelet, probably from the 1940s. Um, this is an estate piece and it is marked sterling silver and it has sterling silver spacers so it makes each of the oval links really stand out and the carnelian is a beautiful color of rust. This is one of my favorite bracelets in the shop right now. It's a very wide expandable bracelet. It has white faceted plastic beads inset with tan enamel tiles outlined in gold metal. It's a nice heavy quality piece. Unfortunately, it's not marked, but you can see how bright gold metal is, which makes the stones really pop. It's great to stack or wear by itself if you like wide bracelets. This is a coral bracelet, and it is a silver metal bracelet with clear rhinestones in the middle in a, in a leaf design. It would look great with a silver coral leaf earrings we showed earlier. If you like boho, this is a really fun bone bracelet with plastic cabochon in the middle in black. It has a unique pin close, as you can see. It's got hammered metal decoration on the ends of the bracelet. It's kind of an India look to it to me. And finally, I have this amazing glass cameo bracelet by Whiting and Davis. If you're familiar with Whiting and Davis for their silver and gold mesh, scarves, handbags, and jewelry. This might come as a surprise, but it is marked Whiting and Davis. It's a gold metal, open work filigree design with a beautiful glass cameo that has a lot of carved dimension to it. And as you can see, it reflects the light just beautifully. There's, it still has its safety chain intact, which is somewhat rare. Safety chains were meant to keep the bracelet on should the clasp come undone. So it's fun to see one completely intact. So this is the bracelet. This is the jewelry we have on sale this weekend. 30% uh, off all of these pieces. Uh, they're, they, they're shown on my whole homepage at magishatbox.com. The sale ends at midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Happy shopping. I'll see you at Madge.